Good day everyone, let's start our lesson by recalling and describing pyramids. A pyramid is a solid figure that has one polygonal base, okay, and it has also triangular faces. Now the name of the pyramid depends on the shapes of its base. In this figure, it is called rectangular pyramid since the base is rectangle. The number of triangular faces also depends on the number of sides of the base. So this rectangular pyramid has four triangular faces since there are four sides of a rectangle. Now here are some nets of pyramids. We have here triangular pyramid because the base is triangle with three faces or triangular faces. Square pyramid, hexagonal pyramid since the base is a hexagon with tri six triangular faces. Rectangular pyramid, and this one is pentagonal pyramid, and many more other kinds or names of pyramids depending on its base. Our lesson focuses on getting the surface area of pyramids, specifically square and rectangular pyramids only. Now again, going back to the meaning of surface area, it is the sum of all the areas of the faces of a certain solid figure, and the sum of the areas measured is the surface area of the solid figure. So if we have here a square pyramid, right? what we're going to do is find its surface area that measures 10 centimeters for its side of the base and 14 centimeters for the height of the triangle or the slant height of the pyramid. Note that the slant height of the pyramid is the height of the triangle. Now again, to find to to find for the surface area of this figure, we need to get the area of each shape and it's easier for us to visualize and get the area of each shape if we make a net of the square prism. Like this one, okay, and this 14 centimeters here is the height of the triangle but it's the slant height of the pyramid. And since the uh, base is a square, then all of the sides are equal. So what we're going to do is to find first the area of its base. So area is S times S or S squared, which is 8 centimeters. Multiply that, that is 64 square centimeters. Now, let's get the area of one of the triangles. We have um, the base is 8 centimeters and the height is 14 centimeters. Multiply it, uh, multiply it and divide it to 2. So we have 112 divided by 2, we have 56 square centimeters. So this 56 square centimeters is the area of one of the triangles here. But take note that these four triangles are equal. So what we're going to do is to just multiply this 56 square centimeters times 4 so that we can get the areas of the four triangles since again they are equal. So the, four, the area of the four triangles is 224 square centimeters. Then, to find for the surface area of this net, we add 224 plus 64, we get 288 square meters. And that is the surface area of this square pyramid. Now, let's analyze and try to figure out the formula for the surface area of square pyramid without getting its net every time we solve for its surface area. Now, again, if the area of a triangle is base times height, divided by 2, then we multiply it to 4. So we have here base times height divided by 2, then we multiply it to 4. Since there are 4 tr equal triangles, we get 4 VH divided by 2, then we simplify. Two di 4 divided by 2 is 2. Answer is 2 base times height, right? Plus the area of the base, which is a square, which is S squared. Therefore, we can say that the formula for the surface area of square pyramid is S squared. This is the area of the square of the, uh, the base plus the area of four triangles. Where did we get this 2BH? We get the area of one triangle. Then we multiply it to four since there are four triangles. And then we simplify, we have 2BH. So this is the area of the square pyramid. If it is a rectangular pyramid, so this is the net of the rectangular pyramid, so the base is a rectangle. Therefore, since the sides are not equal, these triangles here are also not equal. But these two triangles, this one and this one, 
are equal in terms of the basis and its height and these two triangles here are also equal in terms of the base and its height so if if we get the area of these two triangles or if we get the formula for the four triangles we have this one base times height divided by two that's the area of this first triangle and then since there are two equal triangles here then we have simplify to bh divided by two then we have base one and base uh, height one so we have uh, whatever is the height of this triangle and whatever is the base so they are both equal they have different bases and different heights so this height here is longer than the height of this triangle here and for the other uh, two triangles we have base times height divided by two since there are two times two then we simplify that we get base two times height two which is uh, this is the height of the triangles here and this is the base of these two triangles here therefore the formula for the rectangular pyramid is we have length times width which is the area of the base then base 1 times height 1 which is the area of these two triangles here and base 2 times height 2 which is the area of these two triangles here so if the figure is a rectangular pyramid you use this formula and if it is a square pyramid you use this formula let's have more examples we have here find the surface area of the figure so the measurement is the side is 16 centimeters and since this is a square pyramid we use the formula s squared plus 2bh then we substitute the given so the side is 16 centimeters then we double it plus 2 times the base is uh, 16 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters then simplify 16 times 16 we have 256 then 16 times 15 times 2 we have 480 square centimeters then we add the two uh, numbers we have 736 square centimeters so the surface area of this square pyramid is 736 square centimeters next we have here the net of a pyramid which is also a square pyramid so using the formula which is the area of the square s squared plus uh, 2 base times height is the surface area of the square pyramid substitute 10 inches then double it plus 2 times the base is 10 inches times 3 inches for the height of the triangle or the slant height of the pyramid so we have 90 100 square inches plus 10 times 3 is 30 times 2 we have 60 square inches therefore our surface area of this figure is 160 square inches Let's have this example so we have find the surface area of this figure which is a rectangular pyramid so the formula for the rectangular pyramid we have the length times width plus base 1 times the height 1 plus base 2 times height 2 because the uh, two triangles and the other two triangles are not equal in terms of the base and the height since the area or the area of the base is a rectangle and we have the formula or substitute the formula we have the length is eight centimeters the width is five centimeters plus the base is eight centimeters here times 14 which is the height of this triangle plus five the space times the height of this triangle which is 12 centimeters then you substitute and then you simplify you have 40 square centimeters this is 112 square centimeters and this is 60 square centimeters when you add that, you have the surface area of the rectangular pyramid, which is 212 square centimeters. Okay, now let's apply surface area in a word problem. So, Janice and Julian are planning to make a square pyramid tent. They plan to have a base of 6 feet wide and a height or a slant height of the pyramid, which is 8 feet. How much canvas will they need? So it's given here that it is a square pyramid then we use this formula s squared plus 2 base times height then the um, the base is or the side me measures 6 feet so we have 6 times 6 so 6 feet times 6 times feet 
plus uh, 6 feet times 8. We simplify that. We have 36 square centimeters. 2 times 6 times 8 is 96 square feet. Then we add the 2. We have 132 square feet. So they need 132 square feet of canvas. Next word problem. The roof of, the roof of a building in the form of a square pyramid has a slant height of 8 meters and a base measuring 8 meters on a side. What is the surface area of its roof? Take note that the roof here does not include the ceiling or the base of the pyramid. Therefore, we just get the total area of its triangular faces. And we use the formula here to BH. We don't need to get the area of the base, which is S squared, right? We just get the areas of the four triangles here that forms the roof. So we have 2 times the base is 8 meters times the height is 8 meters. We have 64 square centimeters times 2. So the surface area is 128 square centimeters. So what is the surface area of the roof? And the surface area, the total area of the roof is 128 square meters. Again, in applying word problems involving surface area, please analyze properly since there are other faces or faces that are not included. And that's all about the surface area of pyramids. I hope that you learned something from the video.